I hope you had all found some great food at last week's food fair too. It was definitely different from previous years, that's for sure. By the way, the Media Center Advisory Board is ready to kick off the 2021-2022 school year. MCAP helps Ms. Stanley and Ms. Aguirre plan library events like Cafe Bibliotech and the Scary Story Reading. They give advice on books and other things to purchase for a library, and they take a fun field trip every year. Except the last two years, because, you know. Today starts Banned Books Weeks in the Media Center. This is a week during which the Media Center features books that have taboo themes like mental health, LGBTQIA plus characters, misogyny, racism, and more. I remember reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower because of Van Books Week. Everyone is welcome to explore these books, so come join us. That's all I have for the Media Center. Now on to Natalie with more school news. Attention Vikings, TPA wants to help you look cool by decorating your lanyard or backpack. Purchase a Viking pin or an ID wallet holder for only $3 each. Money raised will go towards scholarships. Contact Ms. Bate in room 245 if interested. In October, MVH's 50th anniversary limited edition pins will be available, so start decorating today. Well, that's all I have for school news. Here is Jonathan with sports. Hey Vikings, this week our football team will play against Rosemead on Thursday at 7 for the first league game. Our JV football team will play away on Thursday at 3.15. Our girls volleyball will take on Rosemead today. They will also be playing South Omani on Wednesday, both games being home starting at 3.15. In addition to sports, Tampa Bay's Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady recently went on Sirius XM's podcast and discussed how he would love to get paid partially in cryptocurrency and his fascination for the world becoming more digital. On the soccer side, Lionel Messi did not fly with PSG to face FC Mets last Wednesday due to his left knee injury. Well, that's it for me. Here's Sandra with Anime Rex. Hey everyone! This week for Anime Rex, I'm recommending Jujutsu Kaisen. It's a shonen anime that airs a bit on the side of psychological horror, with the gory corpses and the dark fates of some characters. So, the plot is, Itadori Yuji is an unnaturally strong high school student, just living his life alone, while his grandpa is in the hospital. He is part of the occult research club and he spends most of his evenings visiting his grandpa. But one day, his grandpa dies and his last words to Yuji are, save the people you can. When you die, you should be surrounded by people. What's even worse is later that night, his friends at the occult research club find a cursed object and break its seal. That cursed object is the mummified finger of the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. When they break the seal, multiple curses come to eat them. But luckily, Jujutsu sorcerer Fushiguro Megumi comes to save them. However, Megumi's powers aren't enough, so Yuji eats Tsukuna's fingers to gain more power. He ends up saving his friends, but now he has a cruel, sadistic, more than a thousand year old spirit living inside of him. Believe me when I say the higher ups of Jujutsu society are not okay with that. They try to have Yuji executed. But luckily for Yuji, special grade sorcerer Gojo Satoru asks that Yuji stay alive so that he can consume the rest of the 20 fingers Sukuna has and then be killed after he eats them all. Kinda weird. Even with this deadline hanging over his head, Yuji remembers his grandfather's last words and resolves to use the rest of his time saving others by exercising cursed spirits from this world. If you're going to watch Jujutsu Kaisen, you absolutely have to listen to the ending. It is super funky. Especially when you think about how dark Jujutsu Kaisen is. Listening to that song always makes you want to dance. Thank you for listening to my recommendation, and let's go to Natalie with movie recommendations. Thanks, Sanja. Hey guys, I'm here to give you more movie recommendations. The movies I have for you today are A Quiet Place and the sequel, A Quiet Place 2. The first movie starts with a family that must live in silence to avoid mysterious creatures that hunt by sound. Knowing that even the slightest whisper or footstep can bring death, Evelyn and Lee are determined to find a way to protect their children while desperately searching for a way to fight back. Now, for the sequel, the movie follows the deadly events at home. The Bot family must now face the terrors of the outside world as they continue to fight for survival. In silence, of course. Forced to venture into the unknown, they quickly realize that the creatures that hunt by sound are not the only threats that lurk beyond the sand path. After watching the second one, it made me think that they might make a new one. <laughs> anyway, both movies are great and I really recommend you watch them. Well, that's all the movies I have for you today. Here is Jasmine with Music Rex. Hey guys, I'm here to give you more Music Rex. 
The first song is Family Ties by Baby Keem featuring Kendrick Lamar. I am the Omega. PG Lane, Rolly Gang, SIE. Don't you address me unless it's with four letters. Next up is Oldie by Odd Future. Get you this wine, the runner just brought the grapes, my brother. Give it some time. Marvis and Day. And for the final song, we have My Favorite Game by the Cardigans. I don't know what you're looking for. You haven't found it, baby, that's for sure. Well, that's it for today's music. Back to you, Natalie. Great job to our news crew for putting on a great show. Before I go, I do have some theme park information. Now, during the select dates from September to November is not Scary Farm. This is a scary event with mazes and scare zones. This event lasts from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you have a season pass, it'll be 45 bucks. But if not, it'll be 50 bucks. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Have a great day.